Yo, it's Sparty. About to give some high status value for you guys today. And look who just joined. I don't know if you can see, but that's my cat. My cat. He's a high status cat. He's always trying to absorb value from me so he can be the highest status cat in North America. He's a beast. And because he tries to get a lot of value, I give him a lot of value. And on top of that, because he's so ambitious, I treat him. I give him a lot of treats. I give him milk. I give him turkey, tuna, catnip. I give him everything he wants because he's such a high status cat. Anyway, I got a question on my email and basically the question, I forget who it was from. I'm sorry. I'm just going to call you Leo, but basically Leo's question was, he basically was in this relationship for, I don't know, like a year, about a year. And they broke up, him and his girlfriend broke up. And within one day, one day, his girlfriend finds a new dude to date within one day. And he wanted to ask me what he should do. Should he try to get her back, etc. He tried reaching out to her like three, four days later and she didn't get a response. He didn't get a response. She just didn't answer him because she was seeing this new dude. Now, what should he do? Okay. Here's the answer. Okay. If your girlfriend that you just broke up with finds someone new within one day, and I see this very fucking often, they find someone new within one day, fuck her. You can give her the fucking finger. Fuck her, dude. You guys had a nice, deep relationship, and then all of a sudden, in one day, miraculously, she finds a new dude. She's posting pictures with. She's very happy, smiling into each other's fucking faces on Instagram, trying to fucking bloat that shit to you. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. There's nothing that you did wrong. There's nothing that you did wrong. She is just a piece of shit. She does not deserve to be in your fucking life. Not on Team Fortune. If you're on Team Fortune, we don't allow girls to fucking break up with us, find a new dude within one day, try to rub it in our fucking faces. Fuck that. Especially if you had a deep, deep connection. Especially if you thought you had a real connection. Man, you might have been fooled, but she might have been... She was talking to this dude. Chances are she was talking to this dude behind your fucking back. Behind your motherfucking back. While you were fucking working your ass off, doing a bunch of shit to better yourself, become that high status dude, she was fucking talking and texting and flirting with this guy behind her back with the intentions of keeping this guy as a light boat when you guys broke up. Because when you guys broke up, she was immediately there. She wasn't all in on you. She was not fucking all in on you. And that is not your fault. That's just her fault for not being a good fucking girlfriend. We shouldn't want girls like that in our fucking life. Hell no, not on Team Fortune. Maybe if we are on the 90%, we can go fucking chase her and beg her for her back and get on our knees and shit and try to win her over, but no fucking way. No way, not on Team Fortune, man, not on our team. We are better than that. We are better than that. Listen, she's going to want to text you back. She's going to. Eventually, when that fucker that she started dating within one day, mind you, one fucking day, fuck that, but when she realizes that kid's not as high status as you, he's not as motivated as you, he's not as ambitious as you, he's not as team fortune as you, she is going to say, fuck, what the fuck am I doing? And she's going to pick up on your high status behaviors how you're fucking crushing life. You're fucking making money. You're fucking motivated at the gym. You're fucking working out. You're becoming the alphaist male in the fucking city. You're running this show. She's going to notice that, man. She's going to notice that. And she's going to say, fuck this guy. I want, I want Leo back. I fucking want Leo back. And that's when she's going to hit you up. And here's my point of advice. I've emailed you this back. Don't respond. Don't fucking respond. Let that be your fucking fuck you. The non-response. That's the best response. Success is the best fucking revenge. And the no response. She doesn't even, you don't even acknowledge her for what she's done. You don't say a fucking word. And there's no better thing to do than just have her hit you up. And you don't even give her the time of day. Because right there, that's you holding your nuts. Grabbing it firmly. Juggling up a little bit. And saying fuck off. 
You don't even don't even give her the benefit of a response of saying fuck you because you don't have to respond because you're that dominant. Now, I don't I don't mean to be blunt. I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to avoid what fucking all the other dating coaches out there are going to say. They're going to give you this fake formula to win her back. I mean, maybe they fucking have something out there, but I'm telling you the truth on how to be a fucking high status male. You don't fucking chase her. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. Come on, man. On Team Fortune, she doesn't want to be in our life. She's going to try to, you know, all of a sudden be miraculously with this other dude and not care about your emotions after that thick thing. And she's planning some plot behind your back while you're working your fucking ass off on Team Fortune. Fuck that. We're above that. We are so above that. We can, we deserve a lot better people in our fucking kingdom. We deserve a legit queen. Okay. We don't need some fucking... I'll be respectful. We don't need some other girl of lower value. We need a girl of our class, our stratosphere. There's not a lot of girls on our stratosphere either. Not that type of girl, man. Not that type of girl. I mean, listen, she, she if you start killing your life, she might come back to you. That's fucking awesome. But man, I'm telling you, I'm just giving you the God's honest truth, the team fortune truth. If you want her back, I would question your judgment by taking her back. Okay. I would question your validity of your Team Fortune. I would take your Team Fortune membership away, probably, if you took her back. Hey, there might be more of a backstory. You didn't give me more of a backstory. I'm just being brutally honest with you, dude. Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace.